Hi, welcome to Lessons with John. Uh, today it's Mr. Big Stuff. Alright, so there's that famous intro. Uh, this is how I think they're playing it, and I'll show you another way if you, you know, if you're having trouble. Alright, so it's an E flat chord. Uh, we're going to play the third string, third fret, first string, third fret, second string, fourth fret. It's like a D shape, but at the third fret, okay? And then I'm going to play my first finger at such an angle so that the fourth string gets muted. Okay, that's very important. I am desperately going to try and stay away from these two strings because if they get ringing, it's not going to sound good. So, but as you get uh, better and better at guitar, you'll be able to adjust these things so you can, with your picking hand, you don't have to touch those strings at all. So I'm really playing on an angle. I'm playing way down, mostly hitting the first string. But I get, I get the others too. So uh, I think that's their first chord, okay? And again, about halfway through the video, I'll show you a different way to play it. Uh, all right, so that's E flat. Now the problem is the, uh, the strum. I'm going to break it down real slow for you, and um, it's really hard to, to, to do it slow, but once you can do it, uh, you can build up the speed and stuff. It's hard to do it slow, it's hard to do it fast, it's hard to do it at all. So I'm going to go, uh, let's see, how will I do this? So uh, I'm going to put, what I'm doing is I'm putting pressure down, and then I'm releasing the pressure, but I'm keeping the chord down, okay? So it's down, and then scratch is another down, so... And then up, down is, you know, I got it down. And then a down, up, another down. So down, down, up, down, down, up, down, 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 down. So good luck trying to get that. But it's uh, fast, it's okay, um, and then you're going to go to an A flat chord. Now this one's a shorter strum because we have a couple more moves we got to put into our measure. A flat is uh, the third string, fifth fret, the first and second string at the fourth fret. A little bar chord, it's like an F shape at the fourth fret. And I'm going to do uh, down, down, up, down, down, up, down on that one. So that's a shorter strum, okay? So down, up, down, sorry. Down, down, up, down, down, up, down. Then I'm going to move that shape up to a B flat, which is you're barring the two strings, the first two strings at the sixth fret and the third string seventh fret. And you're just going to do a down up, and then you're going to do a little scratch as you're headed back to the A flat. So, so, uh, sorry. And we already went over the A flat, and what that is is up down, but there's a scratch in between, so it's like, and that's your strum pattern, real slow. Uh, that is used as an intro. It's also used as a chorus and as the outro chorus. Okay, so that's the main part of the song, and that's what everybody really wants to play. But there's some other things going on in the song. Uh, when he goes to the, well, when they go, sorry, when she goes to the verse, uh, the verse is a little different. Uh, it's in E flat. flat to an A flat and this time the A flat gets the big long strum that the E flat did and you do that three times in a row and then the fourth time you do that uh, E flat A flat B flat A flat the the memorable lick 
uh, the fourth time. So let me demonstrate. So this is the verse. <laughs> So it goes E flat to A flat three times in a row, and then the E flat, A flat, B flat, e, A flat uh, combo thing that you did in the intro, but you only do it once. So that's your verse. <clears throat> uh, then they go back and they do the chorus again, then another verse, then another chorus again. Then you're finally going to hear a change in the song. It's the bridge. Try that one more time, I kind of screwed it up. That's better. All right, so that is a C minor. I'm barring the whole eighth fret, uh, and then I'm holding the fifth string, fourth string at the tenth fret. Same strum pattern, the big long strum pattern. Then I'm going to go to an F. Same strum pattern. Uh, that's the fifth string, eighth fret, and you bar four, three, and two at the tenth fret. Then A flat. That's you bar the whole fourth fret, third string, fifth fret, fourth and fifth string at the sixth fret. Do the big long strum. And then um, that wasn't the big long strum. I cut it off. Sorry. <laughs> and then you go to a B flat and you hit it down, down. You stop the sound, and then that's B flat to A flat. So it's so what I did was I went down, down, pause, and then down, uh, down, up. So down, up, down is a mute, and then up, down on the A flat. Okay. And it only goes through that pattern once, I think, right? Yeah. <clears throat> That's it. That's the bridge to the song. I forget what the lyrics are at that point, but you're going to hear it. It's, it's, it's the part that's different in the song, you know? Uh, and then they go back and they do another verse, which is, um, we already went over, and then they do the outro chorus and then they just fade out. Um, <clears throat> I, think they, I think the outro is like four times and then they stop the fade or something like that. But that's it. So um, you just have to learn the different parts and just plug them into where you need them. The form of the song is the intro, the chorus, the verse, the chorus, the verse, the chorus, bridge, verse, outro, chorus. I'll have a sheet that I'm looking at over here on my side. You can see me turn my head here. Uh, that we'll, we'll put that on the internet so uh, you, get, uh, you have a link to it so you can look at it and work it up. Um, I couldn't just do it. I had to sit down and work it out slowly. So, Oh, I told you I was going to teach you a different way. So, if you want, you could use... So for the E-flat, instead of doing this, you could just do this chord, which isn't any easier. It's just that it's a little easier uh, muting strings, okay? So 5th uh, string, 6th fret, 4, 3, and 2 at the 8th fret. <clears throat> I stick my index finger right up into the 6th string to mute it. And you'll play at such an angle that the 1st string gets muted anyway. So you just do the same strum pattern. Then you go to A flat. You could do any number of A flats. You could go... You could do the big bars that we did during the bridge of the song. So I don't need to go over those fingerings. A flat, B flat, back to A flat. So you could use the big bulky chords. I don't think that's what they're doing, uh, but um, it's certainly easier to mute strings, that's for sure. Um, you could do a smaller version like an F shape that you know at the fourth fret. So you bar uh, first two strings at the fourth fret, third string, fifth fret, uh, fourth string, sixth fret. Make sure you're leaning into the fifth string here to mute it, and your thumb could wrap around and so you're muting both of those, something like that, so it's an A flat, 
and then up to the B flat, which is just the you bar on the top two strings, sixth fret, third string seventh, A F fourth string eighth, and um, mute those strings. Anyway, so that's an easier way to play it uh, with those big bulky bar chords. If you'd like, uh, you can do that. All right, thanks for watching and uh, play more guitar, Mr. Big Stuff.